I want to welcome the GMs and the wives, the godly men and the warm, inviting, feminine, empathetic women out there. You're scarce, you're envied, and you're being watched, but hey, it's better than being miserable. And this video is for the people that are actually putting in effort in their lives. This is not a video to boost anybody's ego or sense of vanity or pride. This is a video that is directly correlating to and a message for those that have ears to hear and eyes to see in the world today as we know it. You see, we live in a society that doesn't, and here's the thing, right? Society doesn't understand, culture doesn't really understand what it really means to be pure anymore. And you don't even have to be the most pure person in the world to even get remotely close to being scarce in our society because we're so freaking degenerate. We're so degenerate as a society that you really don't even have to do a lot in order to just get recognized for your peculiarities. And in the Bible, it does say that God's people are a peculiar people. And this is growing more and more true for myself. And for those that I'm doing work with that are in my consultations or in our private community every single day, it's just growing more and more evident to everything going on that this is just the nature of where we're at in our society and how so many people just don't like they look so good sometimes like people can look really good and yet they just have this hollowness about them it's like their whole aura about them is just it's like they're just a vacuum of energy they're just the energetic vampires they're the narcissistic individuals that have this dark cloud of sorrow just hanging over them like it's just bizarre to look at sometimes to see how sometimes the most depressed people in society are the ones that put on the best act uh, of happiness and they are smiling they're joyful at least it seems like with other people they have friendships all these things but they're all just friends to be friends they're just there to be there they're not building something together they're not wanting to move toward a common goal that is for something higher than themselves. They're just bored. <laughs> like They're just bored with themselves. And so what do they do? Well, they start to watch your life. They start to stalk your life, gang stalking. This is a real thing. This is a real phenomena. And I never really knew the term for it up until the last couple of years. But it had occurred multiple times in my life. But over the past two years, especially since I started to follow Christ over two and a half years ago now, nearly, the amount of gang stalking that I've seen has increased and the amount of just stalking in general has increased as well. For those, <laughs> for those that have not seen my female stalkers video on semen retention, go check that out through my archives because I literally, ever since that video, I changed up my routine. I changed up everything that I do throughout my days because I usually have a daily routine that I go through. And the reason that I changed my routine was because I was getting these kinds of experiences with other people that were gang stalking and just it was just very uncomfortable and it started to make me feel really unsafe. And is, and, and if I were to do anything about it, I would be the one that would look like the danger or the bad guy, so to speak. And so I just decided, all right, well, I'm just going to switch up my routine. <laughs> Guess what? I've been switching up my routine and now those same people have figured out my new routine. This is just bizarre. This is bizarre. This is bizarre life. I, I just don't even know what some people have to go to. Like what lengths does your life have to be so like what kind of person do you need to be? What kind of crazy do you need to possess within yourself to 
reorient your life to just try to watch somebody else's. This is just bizarre. It's bizarre behavior. And you might be experiencing something similar to this where people are literally reorienting their lives to watch you, to envy you, to be jealous of you. And they're not doing shit about it themselves for their own life. It's like, you can live your own life. <laughs> you can live your own life. You can go do what you want to do. Go be, be free. I don't care. Go be free over there though. Not over here. Here, I've got boundaries. I've got things that I will and will not tolerate. And it's just these people, their lives are just so befuddled and conf they're just so confused that they literally have no other option apart to attach themselves to your light because they don't have any light to draw within themselves. They've sold their souls to the devil. They've sold their souls to demons. And now because you're scarce, they're realizing like, oh, wow, this person was actually much different in a good way than I ever could have possibly imagined. This guy really is the, the best of the best in this community, this area. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They start freaking out. Literally, I've seen this happen before my eyes within the last couple of days. I've seen this happen. And then you get these approving, like, like self-approving, like, please approve me looks from these women sometimes out here. They, they, you know, you know that they're promiscuous. You know that they're, they, they've been around the town. <laughs> they've got male friends everywhere. They've got tattoos. They've got their hair dyed different certain ways. And yet they look at you like, please just give me the look of acceptance, please. <laughs> it's like... No, <laughs> you, you are disgusting to me. I do not like you. I think you should be able to do what you want to do, but you're not going to be doing that with me. And I'm not going to approve of your life and your lifestyle because <laughs> look at the fruits of what it bears. Look at the fruits of what it bears. You've got confusion. You've got drama. You've got trauma. You've got baggage. And what do I got? <laughs> I'm, I'm literally making my lifestyle a style of winning. That's what I'm doing. I'm making my lifestyle one of purity, of God, and giving that glory to God. Any glory that I have goes to God. I fear God because I'm aware and this is what they don't understand too. But this is what makes you so scarce as a human being nowadays. If you fear God legitimately, people don't really understand what that means, right? They don't really get what that means. And so you're probably someone that really just wants to live a better life because you understand that if you don't fear God, you're allowing pride to distribute itself among the works that you do. And if you do that, if you allow this to happen, what's ultimately going to occur is a downfall because pride goeth before the fall, right? That's in the Bible as well. And I'm just tired of having to literally reorient everything about my life to satisfy these people that don't even have lives to begin with. They, they don't even have lives. And so when I stand my ground, they just disrespect me. And not always, right? This isn't always the case, but this, this is just with specific kinds of people because I want to make it clear that I now have more respect in my community than I've ever had in my life, actually, no matter where I've been. No matter where I go, I do have people that are that have approached me at certain places and they've literally asked me like, what, you think that you own the place? It's like, no, but yeah, I do walk like I do. You're damn straight because I have the source of creation and the spirit thereof within me. I know that I can be who I am and I don't need to tone myself down. 
because you can't handle the freaking truth. This is so stupid. It's so stupid for us to have to tone ourselves down because they can't handle the truth. They can't handle the lion that's before them. So therefore they have to go disrespect. They have to be like the freaking hyenas and try to just like corner you because they need every hyena that they possibly can get to get the one male lion. And then you're still there. You're still fighting every single day. And this is why we have to be out here, guys. We have to be out here. We can't just freaking hide. I made a video recently where I was talking about something that occurred at the gym with this with this guy. And there was a lot of the people in the comments a lot of were opposed to this one comment, but one comment in particular was talking about how I like, like they just need to make a home gym and they get better results, better, this, better, that it's like, well, look, I get it. I get it. But uh, the world is not going to get any better. If we don't actually participate in the world, if we don't participate in the spiritual fight for public areas, we're going to just give it up. So the way that I see it is, yeah, this is annoying. This kind of shit that I, that I have to go through. It's something freaking different all the time. I swear, but I don't really care because at least I'm in the fight. I'm in the front lines of the spiritual trenches. I'm on the war grounds fighting for freedom fighting for legacy fighting for purity of mind, body, and soul against the degeneracy of our civilization. So yeah, I am out here. It's not fun. <laughs> it's really not, but I've got the experience. I'm gaining more experience and I'm learning now more how to interact and how to stand my ground because Look, again, these people, there are people out there that just don't care. They want to disrespect you. And I'm growing more and more to the point as a man where I don't need any freaking materializations. I don't need any kind of achievements or accomplishments or trophies or any of that crap. What I need is freaking respect. This is what I need. It's not because... I, I, I've done so many things and I, oh, I just, it's just, I it, treat each other with respect. Like, damn, <laughs> I mean, damn, can you not treat people with respect? Oh wait, no, you can't because you don't treat yourself with respect. It's what a lot of these people, they don't know how to treat themselves with respect. They don't know how to live their lives in a way that allows them to prosper, feel legitimately empowered because they're so busy trying to get this, trying to get that. Oh, I got to get the attention here. I got to get the, the attention there. Oh, he has to see me. He has to see me. Oh, oh. man, y'all are just, y'all need some therapy. Y'all need some freaking therapy. And I'm disgusted to see people like that. I'm, it's disgusting. I don't want to see that in my community. And here's the thing. I see a lot of good people as well. And I'm grateful for those people. But it's almost like in some ways, as much as I love the good people, I do not like the degeneracy almost more sometimes it makes me more sick to see the degeneracy than it does sometimes to make to, to see the goodness in the world sometimes like the the emotions are just so much more stronger for the disgust and i can't help that i'm a human being but i understand that this is what's happening and what we have to understand is that when we are actually fighting against the matrix, actually fighting against the degeneracy, this stupidity in our society, 
this disgustingness. Everybody's got soul ties with everybody. Everybody's got their, their spirits in a knot. They're not aligned. They may look good again. They may look great, but they're still envious of you. They're still jealous of you all because why? Because you're just focusing on yourself. You're just focusing on your own life and they hate that crap. They hate that you can just feel good in your own energy, not having to feel validated for anybody or for anything. Because they don't know how to feel that way. What a crazy time to be alive. Oh, man. I just look out at the world sometimes and I see all the goodness and I see all the beauty and I see all the truth. And then other times there's days like today (laughs) where just you're always trying to find you're always trying to get something like the good thing about life is there's always problems to solve. The, The harsh thing about life is there's always problems to solve. And so now I've got to re-strategize how I'm living my life again. And I've got to make sure that I just got to keep moving and keep going and be completely unpredictable and completely get out of my routines altogether. Because it's not necessarily a bad thing to have routines. I'm a man of routines. I love routines because it keeps me disciplined. But now my discipline is going to have to be a disciplined, a discipline of organization, I would say, proper organization. So I hope this resonates or at least is insightful to somebody out there. And if you're that person that is actually trying to commit to working in your life, to working toward purity... God bless you and peace be with you till next time.